watching you. Somebody's watching me. What a crazy name. Watching you, watching me. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Zach. I'm Jarek. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. I seen the thumbnail. I don't know why y'all are here. For some more watching you. Special Patreon request from Pentrinel. Mm. Watching you. Long time supporter of the channel. Looks like bro has some shit here. We're no uh, stranger to watching you, so we're about to watch him. Uh, as y'all watch <laughs> us <laughs> watching mm. you. <laughs> Let's jump into this. Got here. That's fire. Yeah, you got the Sherlock Holmes. He got him out there too. Mm-hmm. Just leave it at that. <笑>我们为了抠这个词总共逼他写了三版不是修改好 他那个画面会让你觉得哎怎么会是这样的一个就是很简单但是又有点抽象的一个词其实我身边也有人当时看这个词觉得很奇怪然后觉得好像那些画面感是不符合常理的但是我后来还是坚持要用这版词是因为我
For like seven minutes. That motherfucker could sing. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. I wish I could do that. Definitely. <laughs> definitely standing on what I'm saying. What I said before. It's definitely one of the best vocal voices ever. All genres. Top 10. Mm hmm. He does everything with his voice. Um, just even as low as he went, that shit. At first, the track kind of reminded me of um, of an MJ song. I don't know what song I'm thinking of though. Like, like being so low, I don't know what song I'm thinking about. And shit, it reminded me of an MJ track though. Just it's kind of like low. He was able to kind of get like his uh, his vocal uh, like tone. Um, but he kicked that shit into another gear uh, once he went. And I really can feel like the pain and emotions in his voice. Um, definitely, he's one of those artists where you know people just be crying at his concerts. Uh, where it's just like you know he can like just kind of go off and let it go. I also like too at his concerts that it looks like it's uh, like people from all different type of age groups there as well. Um, like you know clearly it looks like he got a lot of the ladies out. Look at that shit. This is just like that whole row is just all women. <laughs> So he definitely brings them out from the looks of things. Um, but I've seen, like, all different ages and everything in there. And um, and the stage presence is good, too. I feel like you can just be like, hold on, y'all. Let me. All right, now y'all can talk again. Um, yeah, he has a certain aura with him, man. He really killed this joint. I fuck with this joint, though. This joint might be, like, a top three joint from him, in my yeah. opinion. I'm fucking with that Inspector Gadget fit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jake was definitely clean. Sherlock Holmes joint. I definitely love the live uh, band aspect of this as well. Definitely add another gear to this. Because he was already going to kill this vocally. Then you have the live guitar behind it. Just put another mwah to it. He said he wanted to be as carefree as the lead role in a movie. 
That beginning was definitely emotional too. Yo, he could really sing. That's crazy. Every time I watch anything of him, he really be singing. He don't sing, he sang. The song be good. He be singing. But the singing be great. Like, yo, he really be singing. Like some people don't know how hard it is to do reactions when you hear voices like that. And you get so caught, sometimes you be like, damn, what was the production? Or what was he even talking about? I don't know what the fuck <laughs> was happening, bro. He was singing, Reacting yo. hard, bro. <laughs> he was really see When he let that that one note, it was like quiet. And then he oh, let that. <laughs> Did you thought it was the note? <laughs> it was only this part. I wonder, is it the most? Uh, part? It got to be. about to come up right here. He about, to, he about to hit you with it. Yeah, it is. I just was seeing if anything popped up as the most replayed part. And then they listen to the whole joint. <laughs> I don't know what MJ song I'm thinking of. <laughs> What song is it? Can you hear? He's about to Google it. I'm gonna figure it out. Can you hear my childhood or this? This jerk. Wow. Uh, after this, when everything get quiet, I think. I'm about to hit you with it right now. I should feel like I heard him right here. Look, right there. And then he just let all that pain out. I would have passed out. But yeah, um, anytime I'm comparing somebody to Mike, that's greatness. Um, but now I do agree with you, uh, Jerick. That shit was breathtaking. Um, and I agree with you, Zach. Definitely one of my favorite uh, like vocalists just ever. Um, just off of the body of work that we've seen from him at this point. Um, and he's able to body uh, like subject matter. Sometimes with uh, singing, at least in my opinion, um, there are some songs that have like a lot of depth to it and everything like that, but sometimes artists will have particular songs where I don't want to say you're not saying too much of anything, but like, uh, like it's, I always feel like his stuff be so layered that it comes across almost as like a, a poem almost. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just really his subject matter outside of just like his vocal production. Um, it's kind of what always gets me. And then also just like the crowd control, um, I really just think some people don't understand how hard it is to kind of have a presence on stage for you to be able to kind of control everything that's going on with the crowd and yourself. 
um, especially songs like this. Like you can tell he got very emotional while he was like going off and really had to kind of just like, Bring it back. okay, let me build this uh, like note out. Um, so yeah, anything else with that, bro? Nope. Anything else with the edge, Eric? No. You would take vocal lessons and shit to uh so you can snap. There's a place in your heart and I know Thank you. Let me stop for we get copy rope. <laughs> For you and for me and the entire human race. How the fuck did his song still like hit and make sense? <laughs> Nigga was talking about police brutality in the eighties, and everything still makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that shit crazy. Nothing's changed. <laughs> still the same. They don't. Well, that's all I'm trying to say is, um. Now nah, jump in the comments, man. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Um, I love at least, you know, once or twice out the month when we get to do these watching you reactions. Bro always brings something new and it's just always something like decent. Um, we love y'all redeemers. We're gonna holler at y'all. Peace. Peace.